Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. <laughs> so whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Cappy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that's just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you've got the star card, hope, joy, optimism but more importantly an open and expansive heart, energy and soul. I love this card right and especially for you guys because it's been a minute right, it's been a real interesting 18 months let's say <laughs> and it has been for all of us in a lot of ways right but uh, for you guys in particular I know you've kind of been through the ringer and what this suggests to me is I mean you've already started to see the good really start to show up for you now right you've already done a lot of the hard work you've really been through that whole process of crystallizing and changing who you are what you're about where you're going all the rest of it and what this really suggests to me is you're now coming into this space, right? Last week, I think you guys had the full card. So you get in, you've had the reset. This week is where the good starts to really show up, where it really starts to find you and you can st like start tapping into that universal flow of cosmic energy that is going to amplify everything. This is as well, I kind of feel for a lot of you, this is going to be a much better mood as well. And that's not to say that you've been moody or anything like that. It's, that's like a really cliche thing to say for Capricorns, like, oh, they're really moody. Like, if you spent as much time in that serious place of theirs, then, you know, maybe you'd be a little bit moody too. All jokes aside, I actually feel like this is, this. you're just going to feel like a palpable, yeah, things, things feel lighter, right? For your um, actions and options, you've got that Eight of Cups. I actually think this is you releasing or walking away from the heavy, right? Now, here's where this gets really interesting. The Eight of Cups, number eight. Star card, number 17. One and seven gives you eight. You've got two eights. Two eights represents new knowledge, new information. Uh, this could be new knowledge and new information that comes in that really makes a difference, that helps you connect to your own gifts, that helps amplify the powers of your psyche, but also, it could be that you're joining a group this week. So you're walking away from or leaving one aspect of your life and you're broadening your horizons in some way, shape or form, which I think is really, really very exciting. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Two of Pentacles. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. And I like this card because for me, it always suggests growth and expansion, just at a much slower pace. And let's face it anything that we do at a slower pace is always built to last right so this is actually really good this underneath the star card for some of you this is considerations about a website for some of you this is really starting to think about whether you are ready to show up in new spaces and places of your life, to think about new careers, to think about new directions, to think about new ways of using the gifts and the skills that you have. This is so exciting because here, I gotta be honest with you Capricorns, I love the way that your mind works and I believe that we can learn something from every sign. And one of the things that I've often said we can learn from Capricorn energy is staying power. You're not necessarily known for being able to, to expand your mind beyond what you don't know. But this, this is allowing you to do that this week in a very big way. Some of the conversations that you have this week are going to really amplify your abundance mindset and I'm really excited for you. When it comes to your, um, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this is you starting to build the exit strategy, right? How much longer do I actually have to do this day job before I can walk out of it and do my thing? This is you getting very clear on this stuff, which is again, very exciting. For those of you that are business owners, people that work for themselves, again, similar kind of energy, but this is you starting to think for the long term and the legacy of your business. This is starting to think about how you can get more money out of the things that you do, 
how you can increase your sales, but more importantly, how you can increase your revenue from the products and the services that you already have. Um, through conversation this week, speak to your tribe, speak to your people, reach out, because there's definitely something there for you. When it comes to your, um, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, I mean, it's the two of pentacles, right? So this is you really looking at the money, the resources. It's you trimming down some of the finances that, that are outgoings and starting to increase the incomings. So I like this. This is you building a longer term strategy, right? So if you're working and of working age, you're building the exit strategy. For those of you that are living the exit strategy, this is you figuring out how you can make that money that you've got now go much further. For your love and relations, you've got the six of pentacles. So the work that you've done on the relationship continues to be solid stuff. You've got this underneath the eight of caps. Um, I will say this might be not a dispute, but it might be a difference of opinion over what you should be doing with some of the finances or the resources that are available to you. I feel like you'll get it together in the end. For those of you that are partnered, married in long-term commitments, maybe one of you wants to buy something and the other one of you's like, probably you. <laughs> the other one of you's like, yeah, but if we invest this money or yeah, but you know, if we, if we, I don't know, buy a shop or we go into business, we can make a lot more money over the long haul. Um, you gotta find a way to, to give and take here, all right? For those of you that are single, um, I mean, there's definitely potential to meet people here, but it is likely to go, it's gonna be through an app, through a dating website, all of that kind of stuff. Now, for those of you that are adverse to this kind of thing, because you prefer the traditional way, I get it. But this week, this week you could get some good hits and some good results. For your money and materials, you have the Queen of Pentacles, one of your cards, right? Earth sign woman, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, we're gonna say that this is you, right? Your money making potential, your earning power, earning potential is you. This is all about you and it's all about your personal brand of magnetism. I think with this Two of Pentacles and that star card, this is you starting to think, think about and figure out how you can reach more people and therefore how you can make more money. Um, this is also you thinking about the future of your finances. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your digestive system, uh, you've got to look after your innards this week, all right? And then when it comes to your, um, oh, come on brain, when it comes to your home and environment, this is a new addition to the home. So for those of you that don't want pregnancies, uh, be conscious this week. For those of you that have children, they're likely to convince you that you that they want pets, uh, very possible. Um, it could just be though as well, in terms of like an addition to the home, it could be something that you embark on that brings a different energy to the home because it settles your own energy. So the full moon in the sign of Leo is in your eighth house, right? So whenever I talk astrology, I'm talking about whole sign house systems, I'm talking about tropical zodiac. Um, the, uh, the full moon in Leo on the 16th is in your eighth house. The eighth house is other people's money, other people's finances. It's also a house where we are magnetic, where we have the ability to pull or call to us the things that we need, the things that we want, right? What I love about this for you is that queen of pentacles in your money sector is backing this up, right? Your finances are gonna do very, very well this week. And it, like I said, this could also be as well, where you come into the understanding of where your mindset hasn't been abundant and where it can be switched in some way, shape or form. Your <laughs> <laughs> you literally cannot make it up. Your full moon message is the gate 55 and abundance, right? I mean, you saw me shuffle them on, on camera. Like, <sighs> so let me know in the comments how it goes. Let me know how it shows up for you. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. It looks like you will. Let me, uh, let me know in the comments. Take care and I'll see you soon.